This uh, lesson I'm going to read is uh, a little bit longer than uh, uh, the poems that I've uh, been reading. Um, and it's called The Sky is Simply White. I am accosted by Jean Cocteau, who counsels me, read Marinetti, finish the Brandenburg poem, understand the gas heart, memorize the 15 propositions of God, take seriously the question, what have I got to lose? The goat in my throat, companionist, runs wild. I try to hesitate, but I traverse the walls. This among others. We think in eternity, but move slowly through time. This among others. Not A, not B, not this, not that. Each is each other. All is all other. I am the several subdivisions of my fellow man living in Dubuque, Framingham, Sonoma. I accept cowardice, but only in light of racked heroism. I accept the fantastic. I accept the prophetic. I accept the lunatic but never fantasy, never lunacy, yet to the prophets. My mind rocks back and forth upon itself. One day, the metal will split. He sleeps, a sentry to his skin, the sun, the water, sand, the wind. His tongues, two friends, one grim, one trim, roll out sticky but neat as a pin. In his dreams, a butterfly enters the hole in the fat boy's eye. He shudders. The rope dancer accompanies herself with her shadows. Balzac. Sometimes it seems to me as if my brain were on fire and I were fated to die on the ruins of my mind. No Brandenburg concertos, no concerts, no wind. All's ushered out, then it begins. A descent of rain, a white wind gusts. The place abounds in Icarus. Baudelaire's aspiration, absolute rest and continuous night. Let wisdom rot in prison. If only I could ease in the petty world of kings the placid tyranny of natural things. My cowardice speaks out of turn. And when the man went back again, the moon had doffed its diadem. In the dimness of the cafe, the manager is arranging the tables and chairs, the ashtrays, the siphons of soda water. It is six in the morning. The falcon is on his wrist. The weather is on his wing. The sky is simply white. The rain begins. Cocteau screams. The rain is no terrible epitaph. Thank you.